Hey, uh, as you know, uh, I've talked a bit about open carry and uh, that if you were going to do open carry, you really needed to have uh, a holster that had at least uh, level two retention uh, and, not, and not walk around with just uh, friction to keep your, your firearm in place. Um, and so I, I uh, resisted doing open carry because there was no retention holster uh, for my XDS until now. Now a lot of you will recognize this as a Black Hawk Sherpa style uh, holster. Uh, this uh, is one for the XDS uh, 45 uh, and you can tell it has the retention lever right here. I have this installed on a belt loop uh, retainer because uh, it came with a paddle but the screws they have to send me the screws for it. Uh, but I've been wearing this for a couple of days and I, I really like it. Now uh, like some of you I was I was afraid of this holster because it got a bad rap there were instructors that wouldn't uh, wouldn't let you take a class if you were wearing one of these retention holsters. And I was curious because I couldn't understand why. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to explain why you should not be afraid of the Sherpa Level 2 holster. Stay tuned. Since I'm going to be using uh, my XDS for this uh, demonstration, uh, I want to make sure that the weapon is safe because I'm going to be doing some drawing. Uh, the weapon is safe. No rounds in the chamber. I'll be using the magazine and the magazine is empty. So I'm going to put the magazine inside the firearm and there we go. Now, one of the key things in uh, handling a firearm, and it's something that you should learn, uh, with, with, you know, in like baby firearm training school, finger off the trigger, finger off the trigger, finger off the trigger, until you're ready to point and you've acquired your target. So your finger should always be indexed right here. Grip. These fingers grip, and your in finger above the trigger. Never on the trigger guard or inside the trigger. Fingers always indexed here. And uh, I've got thousands of holsterings and reholsterings so my muscle memory is pretty much automatic uh, and yours will be too if you train uh, or you carry every day. But the main thing is is that this is a, is a behavior that you need to to get into your head. Um, and Sherpa has engineered their holster to support this behavior with their holster. Um, but let me show you how it works with other holsters that are not a Sherpa. So for this pocket holster, firearms in the pocket holster, grip and this is the draw right and where does that index finger go straight forward finger off the trigger keep it up here and then as you withdraw if you keep it there and you're pressing it down onto the holster you pull out your finger stays indexed above the trigger that's what you're looking for right now some beginners will do this they get in a hurry, and they pull out, and they'll get excited, and that finger will drop down. Notice that the trigger guard blocks the finger from going into the trigger well. Right, so this kind of helps. Oops. Right, so after a while, the the student should learn finger off the trigger finger off the trigger, finger off the trigger, keep it indexed above. 
That's what we're looking for. I'll show you a couple other holsters. This is the holster that came in the box with the XDS. I really like this holster. It's a nice, nice paddle. Uh, it has uh, tension retention just like uh, a lot of them do. That pocket holster didn't have any retention other than the Kydex around it. It goes in here, index, grip, finger off the trigger, right? I pull a finger off the trigger. But what happens if I get excited? Same thing. The way the holster is designed is my index finger, my finger, goes down to the trigger guard. Right? Not into the trigger. So if I'm under stress or I'm just learning, this is what happens. Now, it might be just me, but I would bet that that's true for a lot of, uh, a, a lot of people in the gun they have. If you have a smaller hand, your finger might go inside. But finger off the trigger, finger off the trigger, finger off the trigger, right? Let's see what happens in another holster. This is a custom uh, leather holster from Milt Sparks. And uh, he makes beautiful holsters and very functional. Uh, but again, this is made specifically for this gun. The only retention is the friction of the holster against the gun. But finger off the trigger, finger off the trigger, finger off the trigger. Pull the firearm out and finger should be on the trigger. What happens if you get too excited? Finger goes down on the trigger guard, doesn't it? And I went, okay. I never even tried that before. Finger off the trigger. That's what you're trying to learn. So let's see what happens with the Sherpa. Now with the Sherpa, see this groove right here? That is designed for your finger to index into. It, it indexes exactly the same as you saw on the other holsters. The difference is I can't pull the firearm out unless I rest my finger on the lever. Notice I said rest my finger on the lever just like I did on the other one. I rest my finger on it and the gun comes out. I don't press, I just rest my finger like I would normally do on the other holsters. It's in the groove and the firearm comes out. Just like that. Now when people are practicing the draw and they get excited and they're new and they haven't got, even though Serper tries to make, Blackhawk tries to make it easy here by putting this groove for your finger Right? And you have your finger's in there. See, that, and there's a retention for your finger on this side. So you put your finger in that groove and your finger's indexed. And you don't press down hard. You don't need to. You just let your finger rest on it just a little bit and it comes out. Just, just that simple. But what happens if you get in a hurry, right? And you get all crazy and, and you get excited. And you, and you try to grip grip the gun as you do this. So you're pressing down really hard and you yank it out and your finger goes right into the trigger guard. Right into the trigger. Now why it does that on this one easier, I, I don't really know. Maybe it's just the way it's designed. But when you get in a hurry and you're pressing hard because you think that's what you have to do then your finger can be forced down by the motion uh, coming out of the gun. So you need to practice, if you're going to get one of these, keeping your finger here and just resting it, just ever so slightly, just rest it on. Just rest it on. And it works perfectly. Okay? But you do have to practice. Because <laughs> when I first got this, I forgot to do that, and I kind of kept my finger off you know, like a, not, not too much pressure, and I couldn't get the gun out of all crap, right? Just a little bit, just a little bit. So you do have to practice with it, okay? You do have to practice with it to get the motion correctly. Now, the reason this is, this is such a, uh, a, a good holster for open carry and even concealed carry, although it does uh, pooch out a little bit if you see the angle here, but 
no more than my other holster. Uh, what makes this a good, uh, good holster for open carry is the retention. You cannot, you cannot pull this gun out, and if you're pulling it, if you've got pulling it this way, and you try to activate the lever, you can't get the gun out. Right. So somebody can't just come behind and yank it out, and once they do, they now there's now pressure on it because they're trying to get it out. They won't be able to get it out, and then you can do your your uh, open hand or whatever tools you have retention strategies to get that get their hand off your gun. Now, one of the other things to consider uh, when you get a holster like this, and I, I've experimented with it, is uh, I I like the FBI cant, and you see this has a, a cant to it inside uh, inside the holster. Uh, I had it full canted, that's 15 degrees, and what I found was that didn't work out so well. Because remember, your f this finger needs to be naturally going into this, this groove here. If it's canted too much, look what happens to your hand. Your hand kind of goes back like that when you're trying to get the gun out, and you can miss this, uh, this groove. Uh, so I removed almost all of the cant, which is the second level, and now it, it, my hand fits really, really well in there. So, I, so it's either going to be straight up and down, or the first level of cant, and that keeps that keeps for me. It keeps my index finger right in the groove where I need it to be as I as I grab the firearm and pull it out. So uh, you do need to practice with that because you cannot, you, you want to make sure you're getting the grip correctly and that you're just resting, just resting your, your finger on there to pull, to pull the gun out. It doesn't let take a lot of, a lot of pressure. So uh, I'll leave you with this. Uh, one, I really like this holster and uh, I will probably use this as both a concealed, when I don't need deep concealment and really tight concealment as well as an open carry holster. Uh, and I would encourage you not to be afraid of this, but like with any holster you get for your firearm, you do need to practice with it. If you don't carry a lot and you keep your gun stored somewhere and you haven't practiced with your holster or holsters, right, if you haven't done that, just that's just not good. Uh, the Blackhawk Sherpa is an excellent, excellent holster. Um, now, in their book, they'll say don't carry with a round in the chamber. I don't care what holster I have; I always have a round in the chamber. Uh, but you train, you train with your holster, and you do. You have to. You have to play with your stuff. Play with your play with it. Trust me, you won't go blind. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Carry on.